My name is Isaac Brest. This is Alex Perweiler, and uh, we're founders of the Stillhouse Group. This show is called Here Comes at uh, Mark Fletcher's Washington Square North Space. We came up with the title sort of as a cliffhanging introduction. Uh, we started finding that the artists were working a lot with ready-mades, uh, both physically in their sculptures and also making portraits of them, like you'll see in work by Nick Darmstetter with the penny paintings, uh, Louis Eisner with the portrait of the slide, um, using uh, shampoo, a ready-made object to paint with, uh, like Alex de Corte does. Then you'll also see artists just working directly with ready-made uh, prefabricated objects like Dylan Lynch uh, and uh, Zach Suskind, and then you'll see other artists like um, you know, Alex working with um, the, the photographic chemical process to produce images that are near monochrome. So I think when you walk around the show you'll see um, a lot of references to things that are mass produced and things that you would normally find and maybe overlook that I think the artists right now are really interested in you know, taking advantage of and, and really putting on a platform these things that the average person walks right by. I think when you show in independently in another gallery or in another space, I think typically what happens is you have a curator or a gallery director. They come to your studio, they look at your work, they make a selection. Here what happens is over the past three months that we had, it was kind of an, an editing process within our studio space as a group together to try to figure out what we thought would work. This exhibition has no direct goal other than to be a survey of the work made in our space for the last year. So with that we didn't want to close down people's minds, close down people's uh, expectations as to what, um, what the uh, goal, aim, or objective of the show would be. This location is our, uh, our second studio space as a group. Uh, we're located in Red Hook. Uh, built uh, nine studios woodshop, office, gallery space, and we've been inhabiting it for around 11 and a half months now. When Alex and I started the group and, and we were 20, um, a lot of us were not necessarily 100% uh, career artists at the time. Most of us were just going to school, but I think something that bonded the group together was a willingness to try a different route at making work and a different route at emerging yourself as, a, you know, as, a, as an artist that does that for a living. We haven't had any new artists join the group 100% in a very long time. In fact, everyone that is still here currently has been a member of the group since we founded it over four years ago. But the residency program, uh, which has been going on for around a year now, and we just had our fourth resident in, and we're going on our fifth, um, is definitely the beginning steps into opening the doors. Yeah, the goal isn't to bring somebody in here who is working with the same ideas of everybody else who's permanently working here. The goal is to try to find somebody that will come in here and shake things up and add another layer to the pre-existing situation. Um, most collectives are about sort of reducing the ego or persona of a singular uh, of a singular character in order to encompass the entire group as one identity. That's kind of uh, antithetical to what we're doing. We, in fact, work together uh, in hopes of making the singular item stronger, uh, more supported, um, more intelligent, more educated, more open to new ideas. And um, ultimately, it's for the individual that, that we do this. Mm -hmm.